Hello everybody. Welcome to another video. I think this morning I was digging around my hard drive and I came across an older model that I had started years ago. And then looking at the model I opened it up in ZBrush and started sculpting on it and after a while um, a few minutes go by and a few more minutes go by and after after a bit you're like man might as well just keep going with this so I'm kind of leaning towards uh, doing a 3d print for this as you can see it's just like a kind of like a monster of a bat head and I just kind of did a little bust version of it the earlier versions I found uh, brought them in they look like this so this was the start of it and I guess I did a smaller snout following uh, references and then eventually I pushed the snout a little bit more to be more I guess I was leaning more towards a werewolf or something and then pushed it back to the head got a little bit bigger and then ended up with bigger ears and then ended up with what you see now kind of a mixture of a like a long snout kind of following this one down here and I started refining the teeth this morning because I found that if I go back I had them like this so fast forward I'm gonna try to make them a little bit more just they look like they're all one mesh on the teeth and that's what I'm gonna probably do just so that I can 3d print it and not have issues with the printer because I had them individual like that and the printer might not read that too well so what I'm gonna do is just kind of sculpt back in that detail other little things I've been doing on this model is just kind of pushing a little more of the little points here and there just to, so I can read because after looking at it I was like I might be able to print this and lately I just been going through my hard drive trying to find stuff to clean up and print the cleaning up process is taking a little bit longer than the actual sculpting of the model so just pushing little details here and there and so if I do print this or when I do print this he'll be able to show some of this detail getting inside of the eye and sculpting out pushing a little more detail going in and carving out a little bit more and just dropping that resolution in here and just just kind of give it a little bit more definition as I go mainly using the clay buildup brush is some it's a brush that I've come to enjoy using on this model this model was pretty old I don't uh, I don't know how old it is but it's pretty old and I dug it up out of the hard drive I was like oh I remember that and I have it a few renderings of it and looking back when you look back at models you're just kind of like man I could have why did I do that why did I do this so you start refining your model that you find um, over time give it some love it was lost over the lost hard drive of other files so I've been trying to push to get some models out and having a 3d printer now has kind of sparked more interest to finish these models and actually see them in real life a little bit here and there uh, the head just kind of give it a little more form maybe it look like it's got folds in there if I smooth it out kind of get a little idea now I'll try to jump onto the teeth to actually give them a little more definition of like the little dog kind of looking face looks like an angry chihuahua in a way like from a I, I guess the ears right 
it's always uh, interesting how how much sometimes some of these bat references look like dogs and it's just like that's pretty cool that uh, they're almost cute on some of them years ago uh, we had found a, a fruit bat in my folks house and uh, it was coming through the grass and it was weird because I thought it was some kind of upside down frog I don't know why I thought it was a frog at the time but it looked like a frog but the way it was walking with this um, bat arms and stuff I don't know if you've ever seen a bat up in your backyard but for those who have like yeah they're interesting creatures so it eventually crawled up on the fencing it was a metal fencing and it just started hanging there it was just trying to find somewhere to hang upside down I don't know if it fell out of its nest or bat nest or whatever you call it bat cave <laughs> there's no caves around here that I know of where we live in Texas and uh, so that was interesting it was like a little little uh, little tiny bat it was a I don't know if you call them a fruit bat or what but it was cool it was pretty cool looking yeah back to this so let's go ahead and carve out some of this detail I'm just gonna kinda give it the impression of teeth here because this might be a little harder to to get to work in the printer be an easier way to do this I could have probably created teeth and then individually binded them together with a dynamesh but yeah, it's what it is just, just kind of form form the look of teeth That printer can't read it then there's no real reason to do all the detail just kind of give it a point maybe that's what we'll do let's do snake hook right here we'll just kind of push so kind of give me a point to work with We can always dynamesh this. I'm just gonna kind of give myself some points to so I can see on the other side too. You can see um, where these points need to be. So I can start carving these little teeth. I don't know what that is. Let's just uh, let's chop that off, turn off perspective going the wrong way and chop it off and dynamesh yeah let's do that give it some more detail you don't want it to pinch too much on this either or I don't want it to pinch that way it doesn't uh get too skinny and the printer won't know what to do with it and fall apart so go and sculpt in some detail more detail yeah. and we'll do the other side too since you'll probably see inside sharpen these up but for my needs I just needed to be a visual from a distance 
So now if I were to turn off solo from a distance, is that read his teeth? I think so. So let's do a little quick render. You just wanted to give the impression of teeth on there because if I print this thing small, and it probably will be small, yeah, it'll it'll slice a minute ago the powers the powers of the teeth stop me from slicing okay so let's see that bam we got teeth let's do the same for the bottom this right here I wanted to do the same uh, we'll pull a little snake hook and you can see it looks just like a bunch of little baby teeth we'll just do that right here little tiny teeth just kind of sculpt it out sculpt it out smooth it out kind of got an idea we'll push that into the gums the gum regions You'll probably never see this again. I don't know unless you just start looking around and stuff in the model. But it's those little details, right? That get you. After you print it, you're like, I should have modeled that. So let's do this. Boom. Somewhat teeth. We'll give it some more resolution in a bit. Let's, uh, crispy lines get some artifacts going on probably uh, you know let's see if this will get rid of it right there yeah boom be gone sculptors pro to the rescue okay let's see how this reads turn that off from distance look like little bat teeth so let's move to the next one and these right here let's see let's beef them up because again they're too small it won't work let's get a little character go a little bit looking funky now look like a uh, bananas <laughs> banana teeth let's, let's fix the banana teeth you're like say man your teeth look like bananas all right fixing the banana teeth there we go Moved it out. Yeah, I think that'll work. Uh, let's go to the bottom part and don't forget to save. Let's not forget to save. We'll just save over. Uh, let's save as number 14. And we'll go back. I always like saving versions because I can do stuff like this I can actually go back and say for instance I wanted this and I wanted to keep sculpting on it and say like I'm like well I think uh, the shapes kind of there I can go ahead and just start doing my thing and do a new new character or something I don't know do a different bat version or whatever and 
smaller snout. So it's always good to save versions. I, for me, it, it's always good. I always jump back. That's what this is. This is a, a version of this bat, and I had actually finished it, but wasn't happy with it and looked at it and was like, what, what was I doing? What's going on here? So we'll, we'll leave these connected right here because I don't really want I don't want the printer to fight it too much I'll Z, Z remesh it probably clean it up a little bit that way it's not too bad but then in the end I'm probably gonna decimate it anyway so it probably doesn't matter let's go ahead and get it here fill that out then with the gums gums are being gums and some gum work do bats have gums I don't know I'm thinking of them like a dog so let's kind of push that dog dog feeling with it seems I did the gums years ago so why not right we just kind of give this let's see what this Polygons. Ooh. I don't know. I could probably clean it up. Go from there, but not today. I'm just just trying to work off some of the. It's kind of a morning sculpt for me to kind of get the get the mind going. Some creative juices. I'd wanted to work on pumpkin head, but I didn't want to burn that momentum. Sometimes, I, I guess that's why some, when I get too many projects that don't get finished, it's because I didn't want to burn out, but then you end up putting it aside. So I'm trying to finish everything too. So, same time. Ooh, these teeth looking crazy. Let's go ahead and just go this route. Just feel it. I can feel it. Someone out there is like, just why not Sculptors Pro? I don't know. I just, I was resistant. So let's Sculptors Pro this stuff up. Let's just kind of carve in here. in a bit later let's go ahead and do that here too I was thinking I think I talked myself out of it in my mind like don't use Sculptures Pro and then the other voice in my head said like why why not so that's where we're at why not Just, oh too big need to get a shape there now let's see turn on perspective pushing that snout and let's see let's see if he looks like his cousins on the side picture over here let's see let's see how that reads It kind of reminds me of a little uh, type of werewolf bat. I guess uh, you could have a hybrid version of it. I'm not sure what I was thinking with the chin, but I don't know. It kind of works. Could kind of be something. I guess I could put it some some more detail up on it and just kind of push it down really not sure what what I was going for if I was going for um, that's the thing too um, looking back with my older models 
kind of try to get in the headspace of what you were thinking or what I was thinking that many years ago. You're like, why did I do this? Was it a good decision to the future, Alex? I don't know. But we're going to work with it, see what we can do. If it works, we can keep it. If not, then we can just destroy it. Let's see. Really, what purpose does this have? Maybe it's his, uh, like a antenna, I guess, for his chin. For when he feeds. Well, what? That would just prevent him from eating, right? So let's do this. Let's just cut it off and see what it looks like. what happens. The mesh is composed of multiple subdivisions. That's a bummer. I want to cut it off, but I don't want to kill the subdivisions just yet. Decisions. Uh, well, we'll let it be for now. Let me get back to the teeth. I kind of lost track. Let's do this. Let's do these teeth. Maybe after this, I'll, I'll have it a thought process for that and we'll solo this out so you can see that there we're just going to sculpt these teeth Yeah, I don't know if I want to cut off that chin, but does it serve a purpose for anything? I don't think it does. Then could be a, a neat little detail. on go ahead and push some of the extra details back in there we can always we can always remesh this give it some more detail back in the end uh oh too much mesh meshing too much computer lagged a little bit whenever it lags I'm always just back in my head saying save save your work too sharp though right like I said the printer's got to be happy too it's got to be in between the details and the let's see how that works uh, something's not right center down just just enough yeah I think that works let's see let's fix those gums those gums, those gums are kind of need some some love and push them out push them up
looks like a little Hershey Kiss right there. Yeah. Hershey Kiss teeth. Top ones look like a banana. I think I'm just hungry. I'm just thinking about food and chocolate. We had some Hershey Kisses here. And, uh, yeah, they, uh, they look good. Gotta resist. It's too early for me. It's in the morning doing this, so I can't be, I can't be doing that. I'm talking myself out of it right now. So let's go in here. And let's change these teeth up a little bit more. Why not? Not feeling like teeth. I'll probably simplify them in a bit. For now we just need them to read. It's always the little things that I, I like getting lost in little stuff like this those details they won't matter from a distance but they they do in a way right they have to look at that from a distance Render that, see what it looks like. See if it kind of feels a little bit better. Look how dark their eyes are. Let's go ahead. Let's do that. Let's let's uh let's fill this in with the. Uh, we gotta move this. move those references we got we got enough references for now let's do skin shader no something shinier and we'll fill this we'll fill those teeth in fill these teeth in too Give, uh, just so we can see what what we got and those look those look nice let's see fill the eyeballs Let's drop back to our shader. Let's get a little darker shade. Ooh, different look. We'll go matte cap gray. It can't hurt. Now you can kind of see the eyes and the teeth a little bit better. I guess I could have given color to the gum too, but for this real quick model, let's see what it does. And yeah, there's teeth. You can see the little canine top teeth. I might have to push these back because he won't be able to close his mouth. <laughs> he's he's really. Really not helpful on it. Let's go grab these gums, move them back with it. That way, if he closes them, he's at least. And yeah, I didn't do this, do this with the thought of him closing his mouth. He could probably arch these out and in. Let's do that. Let's make it a little bit more doable. I don't want it to be too exaggerated. Just brain will say something's wrong. And let's push those away. And my teeth disappeared. All right, let's go back a little bit. Just 
little bit. And those teeth, let's, uh, let's push upward. Just a little bit so you can close his mouth. I'm looking at it now and just doesn't. <clears throat> I was wondering why I was kept subdividing. It was the Sculptures Pro. It would do it on the smooth. Turn that off too. <laughs> I don't want any textures. I've done my share of textures. Alright, let's do this. Okay, there's a uh, Dynamesh cleans it up. probably refine it some more I just wanted to do a short video this morning of uh, getting out there and doing some ZBrush get away from the pumpkin head for a little bit and getting that Halloween feel because Halloween's around the corner for this week and I always love doing Halloween models and stuff Sculptober Sculptober and Inktober is that what it's called? I think it's. I'm trying to draw every day for October, but that should be every day, not just one month out of your life, or out of the year, not your life. You get the point. Let's render this. And we're about at the 30-minute mark, so I'm about to push stop. But hopefully, some of this video was entertaining if anything and I'll try to push to get this 3d printed and post it up so you can see the final result of what I was going for so thank you for watching and hope you'll hit the like button on the little thing down below thank you